just warmer than it has been lately. We're continuing to follow in this cold, trying to keep you up to date on temperatures on our web channel, colotv.com. Dave? All right, thanks so much, Lindsay. And we continue to follow breaking news of an explosion at a refinery in Fallon. Colo 8 News Now's Terry Russell is live with the very latest details. Good morning, Terry. Good afternoon, Dave. At about 9 o'clock this morning, about three explosions rang out here at the Bengal Oil Recycling Plant here on Bengal Road. We're just about six miles from uh, on 50 Alternate on Highway 50, where this recycling plant is located. It's been here about eight years. Uh, and with me right now is Sheriff Ben Trotter, who can tell me you guys heard the explosion. You said you guys were here relatively quickly. Yes, I think deputies were probably on scene within five minutes. Um, and they were down there looking for people coming out of there. Uh, tell me, tell me exactly um, what you found out or what you know so far in terms of the cause of this. My understanding, second party, um, is that um, they were using a weed burner to thaw some lines. I'm unsure what kind of lines, and um, then the explosion occurred. Uh, the subject, uh, the guy that was using a weed burner is the only injury that we have. Taken by Care Flight to Renown. He was Care Flight out, yes. And then, and then the next the next is, let's find it, who's here, are they all accounted for? At one point we thought we had eight unaccounted for, um, but the employees that are evacuated um, ended up in two different places. We ended up finding all but two, and then two of them were found walking around the backside of the facility. So. All, all were accounted for. And we are about a half mile from the plant. We're all pushed back here. We've got Fallon firefighters and uh, and uh, and uh, the Naval firefighters out here helping out, correct? Correct. Naval Air Station responded as mutual aid. Um, all Fallon resources were sent out this way. And uh, what's the next step? You said they're just looking for hot spots or trouble areas? Well, right now, apparently, the tanks are, some of the tanks are boiling, so they're having to just kind of keep them cool. Um, and they've shut the power off so certain vent mechanisms aren't around to kind of diffuse some of the heat so um, but the main the fire is obviously out at this point and we did see a plume of smoke coming in that's from this fire there was a well as soon as the call came out i went out my door in town six seven miles away and was able to see the plume of smoke in the air it was immediate uh, someone had indicated uh, to one of our other reporters here that they saw flames going about 100 feet up in the air. Is that, would that be about right? We had substantial flames that you could see inside of that black cloud that was coming up when I got, even when I got out here. And I was probably about a 10-minute response from the time it came in. So what's the next step? Do we just stand by and wait till the fire's out and then investigators and so forth go in? That's what's going to happen we have to let it cool off and then let the fire guys do the thing any get any guess on how long that would take i don't know haven't haven't heard from i see when they're going to clear so okay perfect thank you for talking to me today sheriff yeah. all right dave that's the latest that we have here from the uh, bango oil uh, recycling uh, uh plant here it's on bango road just outside of fallon it's uh six miles up from alternate 50 on highway 50. uh the road is closed down here at bango road but the high uh both highways the traffic is flowing very very smoothly uh we also have ed pierce out here he's also getting some more information and we'll, we, we will bring it to you as soon as we get it reporting live from our mobile newsroom out near fallon Alan on Bango Road, Terry Russell, Colo 8 News Now. All right, thanks so much, Terry. Sounds like it uh, could have been much worse. Uh, thanks so much. And we continue to follow the other breaking news item, uh, family missing uh, in the Lovelock area.